improve 1% a day and by the end of the year, you will get to improve 365%. This is the biggest lesson I learned during my gap year. What if I spend every month either learning a new skill or developing a new habit? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Einstein Pong, an engineering student studying in Malaysia. Every start of the year, everyone yells, you can do me! On the first day and goes back to normal on the second, flushing away all these new year resolutions. In my opinion, this is a first world problem because either the goals are too hard to achieve or there's no time frame to motivate yourself. I think it would be more effective with the slogan, new month, new me instead. If I learn something new every month, by the end of the year, I will be top set of skills or even habits better than my old self. So for the month of January, I've been working on 3D modeling with two softwares, namely Shaper 3D and Fusion 360. Okay, to me, the fastest way to learn a new skill is first, spend as much time as possible with it. In fact, this idea was inspired by the book I've read which is Outliers, written by Malcolm Gladwell. He mentioned that elites or these outliers are doing way way better than everyone else is because they have spent more time than others in a particular field. Second is securing opportunities to test your understanding. It is okay to fail, everyone has to start somewhere, right? When opportunities come, only you will know how much you have learned and understand this material. Lastly, ask a lot of questions. Engage conversations with experts of the field. You improve fast when your curiosity is actually fulfilled and this experience by these experts will really help you in the long run. What is 3D modeling? Long story short, I learned to draw in 3D. Sounds very simple, right? There are a few reasons I chose 3D modeling as the skill set I want to improve on or work on during this month. First of all, it is an essential skill as an engineer. As a future engineer, I will need to model a lot of stuff like engine parts, like a car probably. I really believe that if you can draw some prototypes like this, you can create. Second, if you have followed my uh, previous videos and also my Instagram, you'll know that I have been actively working on a 3D printer. 3D printers potential will be fully utilized when I know how to 3D model. If I can print what I design and draw, this will definitely be a game changer. I can create new solutions to all problems, make some gadgets or some devices that I really need in my life and ultimately make a difference. For the sake of building myself a motivation, I have an initial goal while learning 3D modeling. Draw the headset which Tony Stark wore during the movie Iron Man 3. It is no secret that I'm a big fan of Iron Man and yeah. During the learning process, I spent the first half of the month with the app in my iPad which is Shaper 3D. Shaper 3D is a very very convenient 3D modeling app. The first reason for that is because you can download in this baby an iPad. I, I can't live without an iPad, I bring my iPad everywhere. And you can download it on the uh, Apple App Store, as simple as that. Second, it is powered with Apple Pencil. You can have that very very nice feeling where you take out your pencil and draw it yourself. You can witness your drawings from 2D into the process of 3D is very very satisfying. And in my opinion, Shaper 3D is actually the easiest form of 3D modeling. A few reasons why, first is like, there's a lot of tutorials built in into the app, so you just follow one by one and you can have a good result. Very responsive with your touch, so you just have to use your pencil and touch it on the surfaces you want to make a change, either make it a curve or like extrude it. It's very very easy, very user friendly. The platform is very minimal and I like it. During the first part of the month, I drew a variety of styles. I followed the tutorial to draw some kind of like a stand, I drew some screw parts, make things hollow. But I think the real game changer of the learning process is that I was involved in this Ducky initiative by Taylors. I was part of the team that built a Ducky pad. It is basically an initiative to help out all these P40 underprivileged to have the opportunity to learn at home. We focus on offering an opportunity for this underprivileged to actually study at home. Me and my team actually built a Raspberry Pi powered uh, tablet for them. And personally, I was involved at the designing of the case. It's a little bit bulky, but it definitely works smoothly. This part was designed by me using Shaper 3D, which I learned in around 15 days. I worked hard for lending a helping hand to this other privilege and I really feel happy about it because wow, what I learned is actually making a social impact. The prototype we built actually was sent to one of the other privilege to let her test it out and give us some feedback so we can build a second generation of this tablet. 
This part was drew and then printed out by myself, sanded it down, gave it a bit of polish, stick it together. It was a very fun experience and definitely a meaningful one where I contribute back to the society. And to me, that is the beauty of learning because you can translate what you learn into solutions which you can make a change. Spread happiness, you know, this is what I like. Second part of the month is where things get a little bit more difficult because First of all, unfortunately, because of the spiking cases of COVID-19 in Malaysia, the government actually announced another lockdown. During this difficult period, I have to stay at home. I can't really access to the lab and that is... <sighs> Hopefully the situation gets better and I can really like, go back to a very normal life where I can spend a lot of time in the lab and working on this and that. Another thing is that I had some difficulties applying the student license for Fusion 360 and that's why there's a slight delay but nevertheless I was watching all these YouTube videos about how to use it anyway so after working on the ducky pad with Shaper 3D I worked on Fusion 360 on the second part of the month in a way it is actually a little bit more complicated but on the bright side is that there's more features offered by Fusion 360 and you can really go into deep details where you want to make things nice. You can actually have more control on anything and everything you draw in this application. For Fusion 360, I also started like Shaper 3D. I started with some gears, I started with some pipes, I designed some uh, parts, furnitures with it, having a lot of fun. And finally, it is the time for me to accomplish my goal, which is drawing the Iron Man headset. This Iron Man headset was involved in this one scene in Iron Man 3 where Tony Stark is like wearing it to control the Mark 42 to date with Pepper Potts during a Christmas night and later on being found out by Pepper Potts. And in 3, 2, 1, I'm gonna reveal this design I drew in Fusion 360. 3, 2, 1, let's go! This is the side of the headset. It is designed exclusively to fit to my head as the measurements are based on myself. For this part, I will need to work on some LEDs in near future. The left and right side of the headset will share the same part. The hollow holes are made for some M3 bolts and nuts to be fitted in. This is the headband part that will be placed behind my head while connecting both the left and right parts. The remaining parts I actually plan to use acrylic and they are to be done in the lab when I'm allowed to return. The only sad thing about this project is that I don't have the access to 3D printers this lockdown so I cannot really print it and test it out physically. Nevertheless, I had a lot of fun and I learned a new skill during January. It is definitely a difficult period for most of us but it is also a good time to actually sit down and learn a lot of new different skill sets at home. In near future, I think um, during my course, I will actually have more opportunity to be involved in 3D modeling. But as of now, I'm happy with the result I come up with. The only imperfection is that I have no access to the 3D printer during this uh, lockdown situation and therefore I can't really print out a physical headset for myself to play around with. I actually can't wait to be involved in the making of more complicated styles like engines or whatsoever with 3D modeling skills. So the whole month of January, I actually broke it down into a few parts. The first part is determining the goal. I split this January into a few parts where the first part is determining a goal. And then second is like brainstorm, watch a lot of YouTube videos, googling a lot to gain all this information and knowledge as well. And lastly, you just pick a pen up or the mouse, depending on whichever application you're using and start drawing. And this is the first video of many to come of the series I just created which is learning a skill set in one month. I really hope you enjoy it and comment down below what do you think will be the skill set for next month. The question of the day is if you have an opportunity, what kind of skill set would you want to learn in a month? Comment down below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I actually spend the time learning this new skill. I really, really enjoy it. And that's it folks. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe button as well. And I'll see you on the next one. Fleming out.